Hey, hi everyone. This is Gautam, the founder and CEO of AI Sensei. Well, today we are going to discuss the ResorPay AI Sensei integration and how you can send WhatsApp messages whenever you're going to create a payment link or an invoice on ResorPay or whenever you're doing some subscription updates or refund updates on ResorPay. And these are automated notifications. You just need to set them up once and it's done. And this integration is closest to my heart because both of the teams of AI Sensei and ResorPay have worked really hard for it. And obviously you might know that ResorPay is one of the largest payment gateways and one of the best also. So the benefit of this integration is that, that you get quicker payments and you get more payments. So basically whenever you send someone a WhatsApp notification regarding their payment link, regarding their subscription update, regarding their invoice, they tend to pay faster. And that is the whole reason why we are up with this integration. So I think the goal of this integration is quite clear that whenever you do any kind of action on ResorPay, you can automate notifications for that action. And furthermore, users can actually click on those links that you're sending them and then go to ResorPay back again and then pay for your payment link and or pay for your invoice. And then, you know, you get the payment faster and you get more payments. So basically in this integration, you can automate messages for invoices, for payment links, for subscription updates and for refunds and a lot more to come in the coming weeks. Along with that, you can use AI Sensei platform to broadcast messages to your user base, also to solve for customer support via live chat and chatbots. So basically you get an all-in-one platform that is AI Sensei to drive your automated notifications to broadcast messages and solve for customer support on WhatsApp. So let's jump to the Razorpay AI Sensei integration. And we have kept it very simple, very structured, all in one place. Even if you don't know about WhatsApp Business API, even if you haven't yet applied for the WhatsApp Business API, it's going to come very easy to you and just keep following the steps that I'm going to share here. So let's just jump to the steps of the integration. So the first step of the integration is that you sign up on the AI Sensei platform and then you'll be finding everything out there itself. So you just go to app.aisensei.com slash sign up and you sign up on the AI Sensei platform. I'll also mention the link out here so that you can just go and start with the sign up. So I'm here on my screen and I can just, I can just continue with Google and I'll, I'll just create a Google account. And then once I create a Google account, basically I'll just sign up on the ASNC platform. When you sign up on the ASNC platform, you need to create a project. So one project basically resembles one business number or basically one business, if I can say, right. And then a different project for a different number or a different business, I can say altogether, right. So the first step is you can just create your own project name and you can just keep it anything. You can keep it your business name or you can keep it, you know, like WhatsApp business name dash WhatsApp, whatever you feel like. And you can just hit the create button and your first project will be created and everything, you know, then operates inside this one particular project. So basically I've logged in and I'm entering a project that doesn't have the API verification done for now. So around two years back, WhatsApp launches the provision of WhatsApp business API on the top of which the AI Sensei platform has been developed. And so basically the first step will like come down to, you know, applying for the API. So the next step here is you enter your project. So once you enter your project, you'll be on the dashboard screen. And the next step is you go to the integrations part. So you can see on the left navigation bar, there's an integrations menu on the bottom. So you just click on that and you'll go to discover. So on discover, basically the next step will be there are multiple apps out here and you click on razor pay. Great. Once you click on razor pay, you can actually see, you know, the description of the razor pay, everything has been described out here. What is this integration? What is this integration about? And you know, what all can you do with this integration? Right. And the next step to get started with the integration and to get started with the API and the platform and all of the WhatsApp stuff that you want to do, you just hit on get started. So once you hit on this, get started, you will see there are five steps you need to complete to actually enable this integration completely. And the very first step is if you yet haven't got the WhatsApp business API, you just need to click out here and you need to click on apply now. Just to get the API, you need to be a valid business. You need to be a, you need to have a GST LLP or something like that. Since you're already a reserve pay merchant, you are already might have that. So you can just, you know, start your API application right away. You just need to fill this four step form where you'll have to submit your details, your personal details, your business details, so and your Facebook page and business manager details. And then further the WhatsApp number that you wish to have on the WhatsApp business API. 
So basically what happens is, so you apply with a particular phone number on the WhatsApp business API and on that phone number, WhatsApp gives you a business profile, just like the profile you get on the WhatsApp business app. The only one thing that you need to remember here is that once you get a number on the WhatsApp business API, it has to be deleted. Yes, it has to be deleted from the WhatsApp app or the WhatsApp business app. So either a number can be on the WhatsApp app, on the WhatsApp business app or on the WhatsApp business API. You'll get the API within one to two days and then you can just speed fast the integration as your API is approved. And in the coming weeks, basically, there's an update coming by WhatsApp through which you'll be getting the API within the next five minutes. So basically now we have got the API approved and also on the first step, you can see that, you know, the status of your WhatsApp business API has got approved. So once you get the API approved, furthermore, once you start using the API, once you start using the platform, you can also apply for the WhatsApp green tick. You can just send an email to, you know, support at AICNC.com and we'll apply for your free green tick and you'll get a verified green tick account on WhatsApp. So now let's jump on to the next step. The next step is actually getting those messages approved from WhatsApp, which you wish to automate and send to your users whenever you generate an invoice or generate a payment link or there are some subscription updates or any refund updates. You don't need to worry too much about what kind of the message it has to be, you know, or what will the message be? How do you need to frame those messages? Because we have got some sample messages which will get approved very easily from WhatsApp and you can just see them here in the second step. So basically you can click on submit template messages and you'll see all those messages that we have already set up for you as sample messages, which, which will get easily approved from WhatsApp. And you can just click on review and submit and you will see that whole message. So you might want to add your company name in the bottom or you might want to, you know, make some slight changes. You can easily do that. You can just change the template format and the sample message. And furthermore, you can set call to action. It could be a URL. It could be a call now kind of button. And these are two buttons basically you can set up out here. And once you edit it, you can just submit this message out here and it will go for approval to WhatsApp. Again, these messages would get approved from WhatsApp within one to two days. So it might take around three to five days to completely go live, you know, on WhatsApp with the Razorpay AI CNC integration. So in the same manner, you can just review all of your messages that you would like to do and you can, you know, then keep further submitting them and you can just check them in one to two days that whether they are approved or not approved. And for sure, they will get approved because these are very transactional messages. Apart from this, you can also get approved some event updates. You can get approved abandoned cart reminders, application drop offs and a lot more messages that you can keep trying. So also we have a library of template messages where you can check out what kind of messages suit your business and you can broadcast them to customers from time to time. Time. Great. Now let's move on to the next step. Once I have these messages approved, once I have my WhatsApp business API live, I'm all set to launch my Razorpay AI CNC integration and, you know, go live on this. So now there are two steps that are very, very important and you can do it via the get started column. Also, you can do it via the settings section. So what you need to do basically is you need to first install the Razorpay app on the AI CNC platform. So basically now we just, we'll just go to settings or you can just go to get started and you can go to install reserve pay app or to the settings column and just click on install app. So now basically we have just installed the reserve pay app on the ASNC platform. This basically, you know, shows this app also on the installed apps. And now uh, ASNC is quite aware that you have installed the reserve pay app. So in the next step, we'll be connecting your reserve pay account to this particular reserve pay app on the ASNC platform. You just need to go to settings, click on connect reserve pay and it will be asking you for an authorization you just so you just tick on this checkbox out here and click on authorize great so now you can see the status of the connection to Razorpay is quite live and i and it, it will also show my merchant id out here which i have on Razorpay. and now this has sort of you know set up a connection between Razorpay and aicnc which will now enable you to you know automate further notifications so now we come to the last and final step and you can see here the app has gone live and you can see the connection status of Razorpay to AICNC is showing up live and it is also showing your merchant ID. And we are just left with one single step that is setting up activities. Let's understand what is the meaning of an activity first and then we can just go ahead and set up these. So basically, you know, Razorpay has different events like invoice issued, like payment link created, like subscription updated or subscription created or a refund processed. So basically you'll have to connect these Razorpay events to AI Sensi campaigns. 
Now campaign specifically have some or the other message you know attached to them and these messages are template messages and the type of campaign that we're using here is an API campaign. So basically when you're connecting a Razor Pay event to any API campaign on AI Sensei we call it an activity quite resembling with you know marketing activities that we keep on doing as marketers and one of the reasons why we named it activity. So what we'll do is we'll just go to set up activities and we'll click on this plus activity button to create our first activity. So this is basically we are creating a connection between any kind of event we wish to trigger our template messages on. So I can just name the activity name like anything. Uh, I could say invoice created. And then I can choose the, you know, Razor Pay event I would like to do on that. And that is obviously invoice issued. I can choose any API campaign that I already might have created. So basically you, I can also create the campaign right from here itself so that you don't have to go to campaigns and create it from there. And I can just hit on this create button and I can say it like invoice and I can say it invoice sending campaign and I can just choose a message and it could be invoice created V2 and I can actually see the message that I'm going to send on invoice creation. That is hi, we have risen invoice of so and so as per your request. Kindly process the payment kind and clear the invoice by clicking on the button below. And that is, the, that is the exact message you know that will be going to them. Also I can choose some other message from here. And the next step is we just click on set live to actually set this campaign live and choose it here on the ICNC campaign part. So basically now we are connecting this result pay event invoice issued with this particular campaign called invoice sending campaign. So as you can see on this invoice we have two parameters that is invoice of one we have raised an invoice of one as per your request and kindly process the payment and clear the invoice. And the second parameter is the link part basically, right? So complete payment and the link is after rzp.io, there is a link part that is attached. So now you'll have to choose these parameters and then whatever the value of these parameters comes up according to the user, uh, that will be included in the message and it will go to the user. So whatever the value of the parameter comes up during that event for that particular user will be set up in these parameters and that is the message that a user will receive. So uh, in parameters you can add AI Sensei parameters and Razor Pay parameters. So Razor Pay parameters are basically the name of the person you're sending an invoice to or the mobile number you're sending an invoice to or the payment ID, payment link ID, whatever, whatever kind of data that we get from Razor Pay according to the event and platform specific values basically. So AI Sensei platform has will create some values from that data like the name, like the mobile number and if any further attributes that you're adding up. As in this case you can see that we need to add the amount on the invoice and so we can just copy this thing and we can just keep it here and also we need to add the link ID so we, I can again copy the link ID and I can just paste it here. Now once I do this I'll click on submit okay and as I submit this activity has been created and is enabled. So basically the user is going to now receive a WhatsApp message on their WhatsApp number from your business profile and saying the exact message that we had there telling him to further pay the invoice and that is what this activity is enabling when it is enabled. If you want to change this activity or do any edits you need to delete this activity and then create this activity again. Also you can further create more activities like payment links, refund processed and subscription updated, something like that. So currently we just have four events and you can just check them out here. So we have payment link created, subscription halted and refund processed. Uh, there's a slight thing out here that the events of invoice created and payment link created are updated every five minutes. That simply means that the messages of invoice created and payment link created might take around one to five minutes to reach the user. But yeah, it will surely reach the user. And in this manner, whenever you're creating a payment link on ReserPay, whenever creating an invoice on ReserPay, whenever there is a subscription halted on ReserPay, or whenever there is a refund processed on ReserPay, your users will receive a WhatsApp notification quite instantly. Right. And furthermore, this, is, this will help you to boost payments, to drive quicker payments, to drive more payments. And your users get to know that you are now on WhatsApp. They can interact with you on WhatsApp and you can keep them in touch while broadcasting notifications also. If you wish to just install the app or just cut off your Razor Pay connection, you can again go to settings. You can click on disconnect out here or and you can just click on uninstall the app. That will just uninstall the app from AI Sensei. And uh, if you want to disconnect your connection from Razor Pay, you can just click on disconnect and it will furthermore disconnect your connection. 
Great. So I think that is for the ResorPay AI Sensi integrations. I look forward to welcoming you all to AI Sensi and further, you know, enabling your customers to receive notifications from your end, from your WhatsApp business profile on WhatsApp. Thanks a lot. Do check out this integration. If you face any issue, we are always here to help. You can hit this intercom button on the bottom and you can chat with any of our executives. If you would like to have a demo of the platform, you can totally do that. You can just go to request demo section on our website and you can have a demo and So you can just fill up this form and our executives will reach back to you as soon as possible. And if you need any help, you can just hit out to support at AICNC.com also. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll be back with more and more such tutorials and awesome integrations for you all. Thanks a lot. Do check out this Razor AICNC integration. It's going to change a lot for your business. Thanks a lot.